Jonathan Perez here. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a chest session. If you've been following me, then you know I'm week four into my off season and I'm making the switch from classic physique to open bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to be showing you what exercises, what my sessions kind of look like in order to make that transition. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, this is gonna be my first exercise. Well, I'm not really counting as an exercise, it's more just a warm up to get some blood flowing to the chest. That way I'm nice and loose, everything's ready to go for my main compounds. But yeah, I start off every chest session with the cable fly. One, I feel like it's a nice way to expand the chest and just get the fibers going. And two, I have a really strong mind to muscle connection established when I do incorporate this in the beginning. Uh, I'm able to move on to a press afterwards as my main compound movement and really just feel the chest going um, and feel with every muscle fiber really. So that's why I'm starting off with cable flies. It feels really good to make me ready for the uh, rest of my workout. But I'm gonna do about three sets here, um, maybe four, whatever it takes to honestly just feel nice and loose, and then I move on to a compound. So I just finished my flies, did four sets there, 12 to 15 reps, nothing crazy. I wasn't trying to fatigue the muscle, simply just trying to get the chest warm. It's warm now, I'm feeling loose. I established strong mind to muscle connection. So we're gonna move on to the main compound for the day, which is an incline chest press and Smith machine. I love this machine because after we're about stabilizing, um, the Smith does it for me. I just push and go. Today we're gonna be doing two sets here, um, maybe six to eight rep range for the first set and 10 to 12 in the second set. We'll see, but that's the plan for today. I'm gonna warm up there um, just while I slowly drink my intra shake, uh, which is intra R3, a carb source from hostile seps, and silo 9, which is an EA seps. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna sip on that while I do this, give my intra time to absorb, so that my coach Phil Viz has me doing, and then we'll attack. But that's the game plan. This is the first lift, first exercise of the day, and then move on. sets deep here. Um, the just warm-up sets, no working sets yet. We're still trying to preserve energy for my top set. But I just wanted to give a quick pro tip for uh, this exercise and any chest pressing really. When I first started off um, and even until today, my, my front dots are super dominant and they tend to overpower um, the, any pressing movements really which takes tension away from the chest. So if you have this issue as well and you're struggling with activating your chest on your pressing movements, one thing I really do and I have to do is focus on keeping my chest up the entire time, shoulders back, retract my scapula, and just pressing with the chest, right? Um, if I don't, when I'm pressing and in my warm sets and my top sets when I'm doing any type of chest pressing, those are the cues I have in my mind. If I don't and if I even like to think about anything else, my delts will overpower and I'll start pressing my front delts and it'll take tension off the chest, which which will obviously negatively impact my physique. So just a tip for anyone who's struggling with chest, um, contracting the chest or establishing a mind to muscle connection with any pressing, keep those shoulders back and really emphasize and keeping that chest up and just driving with it. So right now we have two plates on the core down there. I did that for three reps. Um, that felt, I feel like I could do more. So I'm gonna add some a five pound to each side 
and then make that my top set. I should be able to fail within the six to eight rep range there, which is a goal for today, at least this set per set. And another pro tip, something I thought about when I was pressing was something I used to do a lot too, is flare my elbows out like so when I pressed. And that also incorporates a lot of front delts. So find the happy medium. You don't want them too tucked in because it's a lot of tricep. Too flared out, that's a lot of front down and also puts you in a vulnerable position. So um, find the happy medium and just push forward the chest while incorporating those other cues. But something I want to throw in there as well. So enough talking, I'm gonna hit this top set and then we'll see you for the next one. top set I think I got six and a half reps or seven and a half reps something like that I don't know all the blood's in my chest right now and not in my head so um, but I filled within that six to eight rep range which was what I was shooting for so that's a win that was my main compound or main uh, set for the day um, so I was a win in my book now next week we're gonna try to beat that um, clip the form if I can could always improve my form and try to get an extra rep next week with the same weight progressive overload, right? So always trying to improve each session to be the last one. So that's the plan. Um, now I'm gonna do a back off set, try to fill within that 10 to 12 rep range now, increase, increase the volume a little bit in the set. And, and then we go on to the next exercise. Set. Um, I think only like eight or nine reps. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was in the zone, but I have another pro tip for everyone. Lots of pro tips today. <laughs> Make sure you put on your safety rack so you don't die like I almost in that last uh, last rep. <laughs> Good thing I was able to just rack it. Um, this is cool Smith machine, but um, yeah, set your safety rack so you don't die, especially if you're training alone like I do most of the time. Last pro tip. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, we're gonna move on to, actually, I wanna do one more set. I actually filmed that 12 rep range, 10 to 12 rep range. I was just shy of two reps or so, so I'm gonna do one more set. I filmed that 10 to 12 rep range. And then we'll move on to another pressing movement. And, and then we'll see how I feel after that. So that's the plan. And this time, I'm gonna set my safety rack before so I don't die on camera. But that's what we're gonna do, so. <sighs> Time to freaking go now. So we finished our first exercise, did three sets here, incline Smith chest press. Um, that was mainly a target the upper chest. Now we're gonna move on to flat dumbbell press in my gym. The heaviest dumbbells I have, 100 pound dumbbells, but considering we did three very hard sets there, 
This should suffice. This should be more than enough to get my chest smoked. Um, but this is gonna be our second mainland for the day. I'm beating potatoes. This was gonna put some thickness on my chest. So second exercise, that dumbbell press. Probably do two sets here. Um, and then we'll move on to some type of, probably some type of fly. We'll see how I feel after that, but that's the plan. Incline Smith press, um, flat dumbbell press. Now we're gonna go on to a fly. We wanna emphasize a stretch here um, and really just kind of push blood. And that's the, that's the main goal for the rest of the session is just to maximize blood flow. I mean, I already have a pretty good pump, but let's make it crazier, right? So we're gonna focus on the stretch here um, and an awesome contraction. And then we'll probably do one more exercise after that um, just to really finish, finish off the muscle and destroy our chest. And that'll be it. So. At least for chest. So that's the game plan. I'm gonna do flies here, four sets, high volume, 15 reps minimum, and then we'll move on. four sets there and those felt amazing my chest is super freaking pumped um, if I really wanted to I could probably end the session there but I'm having a lot of fun right now so we're gonna push on up a little bit food tie we're off season so we can get away with stuff like this so we're gonna move on to our final exercise which is a press here we're probably gonna do three sets um, higher volume as well 15 rep range and then we'll probably end the last set with a couple intensifiers maybe like a triple drop or a static hold, something fun, something to make me feel like I, I'm a question why I even do this shit, right? So something fun, something crazy, something intense, that's the goal, but we're gonna really finish off our chest here, and then we'll probably do a front delt movement and some type of tricep push down, um, and that'll be it. I did two sets and I'm struggling with weight that I usually warm up with. So my chest is definitely feeling it. It's super pumped, endorphins are going, I'm feeling good. And now we're rocking out to WAP, right George? Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes. But no WAP here, but um, we're gonna do one more set. This is the last thing we'll do for chest. And I'm thinking for some fun, we're gonna do a drop set with a static hold at the end for as long as I can. So that's the game plan. Um, might do a rest pause, who knows, but probably just a drop to the static hold. And then we'll do one or two sets for delts and tries, and that'll be it. So that's a game plan for right now. And I'm gonna go torture myself, but we'll be back after this.
is chest. I am done, I can't do anything else. Lift it on the tank, so that's a win in my book. Now we're gonna move on to a front dump movement, probably some front raises. Just because there's already blood in that area, it's throwing a little more blood. Um, nothing too crazy though, because that belt's coming up soon, I know. I want to be fresh for when I do my pressing, so. Just gonna do some uh, pump work for delts and tries since they're activated during our pressing movements. It's inevitable, you're gonna get some activation. Um, but since there's already, there's already blood in there, why not finish them off, right? So we're gonna do that. That'll take about five minutes and then we're done. So, I lied. I said we'd fin be finished after shoulders and delts, but I sold the calf raise machine. I saw my calves and I was like, eh, these, these sticks need some help. So, we're gonna do some calves. Um, probably three on the seated calf raise over there, and then three sets on um, the Smith machine up here, standing calf raise, and high volume. Actually, we'll fill in the 10 to 12, 10 to 12 rep range for, for the first set. And the, the next two sets on each exercise are gonna be higher volume. So two heavy sets followed by four really high volume sets. So that's the plan. And then I promise we're done. <laughs> calves. Um, I don't have the craziest calves, right? But they're decent, right? And I saw some pretty good progress from over the years. So I'm going to share a little pro tip with you guys um, and hopefully you can have to grow your calves. But when I do these calf raises, something I like to do personally is place a really strong emphasis on the stretch component. So I'll turn around so you can see it. So the stretch component, which is the bottom portion of the movement. So I could hang out there for a little bit, right? Usually one or two seconds and really just get a deep stretch. And then from there, I like to explode up. And when I'm coming up, I like to think about driving my ankles up and forward as opposed to just up to really maximize the contraction. So some people do this, which would just be up. Me personally, I just think about, like I said, driving my ankles up and forward, so like that. And I'm placing all the pressure on the ball of my foot. And I'll demonstrate what it would look like for everyone one more time. So coming here. Deep stretch, right? And then I explode up, jump angles up and forward, and boom. Peak contraction, hang up there for a second or two, come back down, explode up, boom. So that's, that's kind of what I do for calves. Um, and that concludes my training session for today. That's chest with some doubt and try and like calves, but Hopefully you got a kick out of it. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and, and it was entertaining. Hopefully my, <laughs> my ugly gym facial expressions will scare you off too much again. But that's my session. We'll see you for the next Thanks one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.